YouTube. So, leg day, everyone's favourite muscle group, right? Even if it isn't, why would you want to neglect the biggest muscle group in your body? So my top five tips for full leg day potential. Number one, volume. If legs are an area where you feel that growth is a struggle, then add more sets to your workouts, guys. I mean, if you're doing three sets of leg extensions and a set of squats, that's not a leg day. Try and up it to, say, five, six, seven, even go to 10 sets of 10 and do German volume training. Just get enough volume on there to really smash them to pieces. And then in terms of rep ranges, what I do personally, I mean, one week I'll lift heavy, say, six to eight reps. And then the next week, increase it to like 12 to 15, even going up to 20 reps just to shock that body as much as possible. So it keeps it guessing. Different angles. So by changing up my angles and my leg presses and my squats, I'm able to shift the emphasis to what part of the quad's actually being worked. So for example, my close stance leg press now is really shifting more emphasis onto the vastus lateralis part of the quad. And then another great example would be the squats that I performed on this day. As you can see, my stance is a lot wider, meaning it's going to shift more emphasis onto the vastus medialis part of the quad. And it would be the same principles for like a leg extension, for example. If my toes are pointed inwards more, it's going to concentrate more on the outer quad. And if my toes are facing outwards, it's going to concentrate a slight bit more effort onto that inner part of the quad. Number three, mind to muscle connection and pushing through the heels of your foot. So it is critical, guys, that you push through the heel of your foot. This is a quad, hamstring and glute based exercise, not a calf exercise. Make sure you're coming down, pushing through that heel. If you're like me and you lack a little bit of ankle flexibility, then put some plates underneath your heels so that you do engage through them. And then going back to my close stance leg press video where, as you can see, I'm really putting the emphasis through the heel of my foot, having a little two, three second pause and then driving back up. Number four, calf training. As you know, guys, we walk around in our calves all day long. They are used to being worked. So when you come to train them, really try and smash them to pieces again. I mean, if, you, if you're struggling with them badly, then train them twice or even three times a week. When I personally come to do calf training, I like to incorporate at least eight sets, keeping my rep range high, say 15 to 20 reps, then adding in certain technique, techniques such as partial reps and then even using body weighted ones to failure. I will say is definitely get the contraction guys hold it for like three seconds down and three seconds up don't do a partial movement the whole way through only use partials to the end towards failure when you need to fatigue them out Five, consistency be consistent in training your legs if you feel like it's a problem area train them twice if you really don't like them that much then pair them with the muscle group that you are going to enjoy doing at least you'll get legs out of the way done and you have something to look forward to Will my ideas and tips work for everybody? No, everybody's different, everybody's body reacts in different ways. So in the past two years, I've seen really good results from my legs. I've been seeing good growth, good muscle separation, good definition, and it's all from just keeping to these tips I've just given you, being consistent and just training hard. Don't skip leg day. See you soon for more videos.